Hello, computer graphics students. Uh, we're going to try bringing in a hand-drawn face and see what we can do with it in Photoshop. Except I don't want to use Photoshop. I changed my mind. We'll go to Illustrator. There we go. Come on, Illustrator. And in the meantime, i got to figure out where is this file that I'm going to open up. All right, it's one of these faces. Let's go to Icon. And then I'm pretty sure this is the one. We're going to call it Isaac 2A's 1S. There we go. And then in the meantime, Illustrator's taking its sweet time. I go to File, New. Same thing, except Illustrator's a little nicer. It's like, do you want portrait or do you want landscape? I want portrait. I hit OK. It opens up. And now I go to File, Place. And I could be asking you guys to make uh, avid Cornell notes right now. But instead, I'm just making a video, which maybe isn't better, but I'd like to think it is. Place. Oh, it's way too big. So. I zoom out a little. You're going to learn the shortcut to zoom out. You could go over to the little spyglass there. Back in my day, we called it a, a spyglass. I guess it's a magnifying glass. All right. See, I'm shrinking it down so that it fits on the canvas. All right. Then I do another shortcut that you're going to learn, and I zoom in so that I can see it. All right. There's the face. First thing I'm going to do is lock and dim this. Except I'm not going to dim it that much. Just a little bit. Lock and dim. And then I create a new layer on top. Why do you think I would do that? Lock and dim. Somebody raise their hand. We've got a boring video here. OK, so, what is it? So it doesn't move when you can see what you've gotten over it? Totally. The worst thing you can do in Photoshop or Illustrator is start drawing over original artwork that you bring in because you didn't make another layer. So layers are your friend. So we know this layer is active. And then I got my drawing tablet. And so, oh yeah, good. It's working. I haven't used it on this computer before. So I'm going to use the pencil tool. I'm going to show you this weird way to draw lines. Okay, so let's see. I got a hotkey for zoom. No, I haven't done that with this computer. Okay, push this back. Man, this video is getting so long. Here we go. We're going to zoom in. So the thing I like most about this picture, and that's the thing you're asking yourself. Like you draw stuff, and it just came right out of your head. It's not something that you're copying from a photo online. And this eye is the thing. It was like, what's the deal? You got two different eyes and that makes a face really interesting. So right now I'm going to start tracing over this and I'm going to, before I start doing this, I'm just going to thank Isaac for not like freaking out that I'm using your artwork and that you're being cool about it. Because sometimes, you know, some kids will just like walk out the door. They're just like, how could you do this to me? So if you'll notice with the pencil tool, I'm drawing and I'm actually like drawing the outline of the line. And what that does is it makes, it allows me to do a really, what I would call expressive line. And expressive lines are the ones you want, thick to thin. And naturally a pencil will do that. But what's cool in, um, in Illustrator and in general in computer graphics is you can exaggerate and change and kind of edit what it is, and I'm not thinking too hard about this right now. I'm just kind of following what Isaac drew, and then we see what happens. So the reason that I'm drawing this outline and it's filling with black is because over here we got a fill and a stroke. The stroke is set to nothing. If I switch this, you'll notice that we get super boring line. It's just boom. There's nothing to it. So I hit Command uh, Z to undo and switch it back, this little switcher there. And then let's do this eyebrow, maybe make it kind of crazy here. 
app, and then a pupil down here. And he's got a little highlight here. Maybe this highlight is right there. I don't know. And you can kind of change things as you go. Clean it up if you want. Make it crazier. I kind of lost where I'm at. I have no idea what's going to happen now. Yeah, that, did, that didn't turn out too bad. And then I hold the space bar, pan around. And now every once in a while, after I draw some stuff, I'm going to zoom out and see what I think. Okay. And so now I can turn this layer off and back on and kind of see what's happening here. All right, so can, can you feel me on this? Is this kind of cool, right? So the other thing that I like about this more than the, the first project you're doing has nothing to do with this. You won't see, you won't get to do anything like this unless you're like finished with your work and you're like sneaking it in or something, I don't know. But we're running, we're gonna do Photoshop and it's nothing but taking images from online and reusing them and, and putting them into something else, which is really good to learn. But for me, this is where it's at, where you draw something from your head, from your heart, something that just comes out of you, and then you take it into the computer and turn it into something even cooler, okay? So that is, in essence, what you are here to do other than to show you can learn and stuff like that. So at the end of my movies, I always say, that's it for now. Thank you for learning.